All right, so you wanna buy the new NBA 2K online, but you have no clue if this piece of shit AAA game that your rich friend referred you to is even any good. So, instead of taking your friend's word, you do your own research. First, you look up the trailer. Wow, he really he really slammed that, uh, that hoop. I hope it doesn't like break or anything. That'd be insane. Oh! Okay. Um, maybe some game reviews? Wow, what a beautiful game. Then, after some careful calculations and persuasion, you look up the game on Steam. But, just before you click that purchase button and almost ruin your bank account on this thing, you scroll down. You scroll down to the Steam reviews, to see what the people think of this game, the ones who bought this masterpiece. Only to find out a gaming detective has cracked the ultimate NBA gate of this generation, discovering the evil corporation's plan to scam millions of infant children's money and exploit their deep Fuck love it, for a sport every Fuck year with bad in-game currencies and unplayable bitch. content for $80 plus tax. Yeah, I'm convinced. I think I'll pass. Doing research on things, 100% valid. Like, it's what you should be doing before you buy, like, anything that's, like, at least expensive, you know? And the best way to do that and to know you're getting your money's worth is reviews. But over the last little while, I've noticed that, like, game reviews, especially on Steam, are getting extremely personal. Holy shit, these people are bonkers, dude. Yeah, they express their opinion on the game, whether it's good or bad, but they always feel the need to put in a personal story into their review. And when I say personal story, I mean like something relating to their life or just a very strong opinion about the game that goes on like they're writing a goddamn novel. You know, if I were to sign up for the book club class, I would have did that with Karen down the street. You being a bitch is gonna help? I'm here to get a game. So I want to take a look at some of these reviews on Steam for these games. So this first review is for a game called uh, Scribble It. Uh, Scribble It is a fun party game you do with your friends where the goal is basically to uh, get your friends to guess the word that you're drawing after you obliterate the shit out of it and they're just supposed to guess it. You know, so it's a pretty fun little party game. But uh, here is a review by someone. I am 27. My ex-wife and I have a daughter together and adopted our son together. They are now both four years old. When we were going through our separation, I found myself lost and miserable. I was self-destructive. I got so mad one day from everything spiraling out of control that I punched some concrete in a moment of overwhelming emotion. Where's the game? Where's the game review right now? So far in, I'm feeling super depressed. I don't want to play this game because it's going to make me get married, have kids, get divorced, punch a wall within the first 10 seconds of the game. What is going on here? I just want to play scribble it with my friends, and draw a giant ass dick going into some guy's mouth as a representation of eating toast in the morning. Whatever's going on with this guy, I'm super sorry, you know? Like, he seems like he's going through a super rough time. That's the thing with these reviews is they get super in-depth and personal with what's going on in the person's life or how they how the game really affects them like look how long this thing is this thing is like a whole ass book right now that i'm reading you know i'm reading i'm basically reading the bible you know i'm reading about how jesus just got crucified and divorced at the same time so here's here's when he kind of talks about the game a little bit uh, so I somehow stumbled upon this game and read some of the reviews. I decided it would be worth a shot. I must admit, I didn't beat the game or play nearly as long as some of you. How do you beat the game? This isn't Call of Duty. This isn't Team Deathmatch. In fact, I may have only played this game a day or two. But that being said, after doing so, I had a newfound joy and hope for life. I was able to put behind me the pain and suffering that had been caught cast over me. I just find it phenomenal that someone can 
put a huge review like this online for people to see. Look at the fragment of what he talks about. He talks very little about this game, but he goes on and on and on about his family troubles. Like what? Here's a review now for another game called 3 on 3 Freestyle Rebound. Uh, this is a game uh, you play 3 on 3. I don't know, it's fucking it's fucking 3 on 3 basketball and it's a cartoon. You know, what, what more do you want from me? It's simple as that. So here's a review from that game. Cool recommend. All right, sick. You know, there's positive reviews right now. And then we uh, go on to the next one. What a stupid fucking game. I played this game in 2016 when it came out, and the game was so great before. Everyone was equal. And now I return and realize how this game worked. A typical Korean game. Whoa. Calm down. What do the Koreans do to you, buddy? Basically, more money to spend more than skills you have. You don't even need to practice. You just need to spend money, and then you are going to be the best on the court. Awesome game. I feel bad for this stupid fucking game. He didn't say fucking, added in the fucking. Holy f crap. I mean, this review does the job. It makes me not want to play this game. But holy crap, so much passion into a review. Into a review. You know, so much more than just a uh, oh, good game or holy crap, this game sucked. Maybe a little bit of detail about the game, but not really. I just want to know if the game is good, if it's worth buying, you know? I don't want to hear about how you played it in 2016. You came back and it's dog shit. Here's another review for the same game. Uh, it's Street Ball for Freaking Infants. Stunk Doo Doo. Stunk Doo Doo. Okay. Here's a review from Sex Defender. Pretty good game, but Lulu's boobs could use a little more jiggle. This one is a Shakespearean piece. Oh, idle games, why do I play you? After much reminiscing on the question, self-inflicted shame, pure inflicted shame, self-reflection, I finally come to the conclusion. They're like ant farms. Give it some food, water, fresh soils, and worms every now and then and watch them grow. What am I? What, what? They're trying to be so deep and so meta, but you lose me. You you've lost me in the first ten seconds of your statement. Here's an example of a review that personally, what I look for when I'm looking for a game. Uh, here's a review for Sumo Circle. Feels good to be fat and absolutely destroy your friends. Anyway, I think the point of this that I'm trying to get across is. Don't make your reviews for anything, whether it's a game, if it's a fucking dildo. I don't want to hear about your dead grandmother and how you had to pay for her goddamn surgery. I want to play some fucking stellar ass Call of Duty and I want to do it with friends. I, I well, I don't, I don't want to do it with, actually, I want to fucking do it with friends. Why not? Why can't I do it with friends? It's 2021, I can do it with my friends and leave a review about how I did it with my friends. Anyway, uh, that'll be the end of the video. If you want to check out my uh, my Twitch, I stream at twitch.tv slash luffysicle. Um, every Thursday and Friday. For the most part, I just I just stream whatever. I play games there. Um, anything like that. And yeah, if you want to see more, just subscribe to the channel. Do whatever you want. Uh, that'll conclude this video on uh, why people shouldn't leave reviews for things anymore and should just buy every game in the goddamn market and just play the fuck out of it every day peace i don't mean to do this but i just want you to turn around put your hands up right. you know eric, i appreciate your name correct yeah my name is eric now i truly appreciate all of this now i'm gonna put my gun on the forward to killing you one day i'm sorry ak but that day is never gonna come Oh, it will.